In my last video, I gave you eight tips for maximizing the tracking potential of your equatorial mount. And one of those tips was to make sure that your tripod was properly leveled. Now, several of you pointed out that for an equatorial mount, that isn't really necessary. At first glance, I thought you must be mistaken. They build a bubble level right into the EQ6R Pro mount, and they build two bubble levels into the ZWO AM5 mount. In fact, the user manual for the EQR6 Pro says that you're supposed to level the mount, not once, but twice. But as I started to think about it, I started to think that you're right. As long as the mount is properly polar aligned, then as it rotates, it shouldn't matter if it's level or not, because it's still rotating around the same axis. There's only one way to find out for sure, and that's through science. We're gonna employ the scientific method here. We're gonna start with the hypothesis that leveling the tripod doesn't make a difference. Then we're gonna design an experiment to test it. We'll analyze our results and then draw some conclusions. Be sure to stick it out to the end of the video because whichever option gives us the best results, I'm gonna use that to get us a nice picture of the Horsehead Nebula. So let's get to it. Here's our test rig for tonight. We've got the Celestron C8 on top of the ZWO AM5 mount. We're gonna run this test twice, once with the telescope uh, perfectly level and once with it significantly unlevel. Um, now, the idea here is that if there's gonna be any kind of a discrepancy, a severely unleveled mount should bring it out. Now that's the only variable we're going to use in this is the leveling issue. I'm also going to be sure to polar align this as precisely as I can in both instances so that no polar alignment issues are going to come into play. All right, I've got the telescope all set up and we're currently in level mode. We're going to polar align, choose a target, and we're gonna let it track for a while. All right, we've got a really good polar alignment, so we're ready to start the balancing test. We're gonna to move to a target and let it track for a little while. We've been tracking our target now for a little while. It seems like we're pretty consistently getting guiding around 0.5 to 0.65. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put the mount back in the home position. We're gonna make it really not level, uh, do another polar alignment and go back to this same target. I'm gonna try and do it as quickly as possible so that our scene doesn't really change all that much. It was tricky, but I managed to get the polar alignment to the exact same amount of error that I had in the level test. So this should be pretty accurate. Let's go ahead and move to our original target and uh, we'll see what kind of tracking we get this time around. I was watching that really carefully because all the weight is on that side that's short right there, making me a little nervous. I'm gonna go ahead and clear the calibration and stuff uh, as well, just to make sure that everything is all legit. All right, the results are in, and as predicted, I am getting pretty much the same guiding results out of my wonky tripod as I was with the level tripod. So there you go. You don't have to worry about leveling your equatorial mount before you set up your rig. Uh, if you liked tonight's experiment, or if you like content about space and astrophotography, please consider liking and subscribing. I appreciate it. It really helps the feed the algorithm. And uh, let's keep the conversation going on in the comments as well. Tonight's experiment was brought to you by your comments. So I, I appreciate the feedback. Until next time, clear skies.